Uh, what am I talking about? Organic centered brake pads. What's the difference? That's a damn confusing topic, boy. What's up guys, Jeff from Worldwide Cyclery and we're going to talk about brake pads and organic versus metal centered, organic centered. It's kind of confusing. So part of what makes that confusing is SRAM calls them organic and Shimano calls their organic pads resin. Um, and then SRAM's other brake pads, which they call metal centered, Shimano just likes to call metal. So Shimano is metal and resin, and SRAM is metal centered versus organic. And what that is is the actual compound of the brake pad, what actually it comes into contact with your rotor. So we're gonna leave a couple links below this video to our blog and one that Pinkbike did about the differences there because it is kind of confusing and it's nice to see it in writing, but we'll talk about it a little bit in a video. So some of the key differences Right off the bat, um, organic is kind of known to be quieter than a metal pad. I, I personally run organic aluminum backed pads. I ride most of the time in Southern California and we don't deal with much wet weather. Um, wet weather is where a metal or a metal centered pad is gonna do better. So in the wet, uh, metal centered pad is good. So if you're riding in a lot of wet weather, metal centered, probably your way to go. They're typically a little bit noisier of brake pads than an organic. Um, but again, if you're riding in any water at all or commonly riding in water or mud, um, metal centered is, is gonna be a better pad of, of choice. Uh, aluminum backing versus steel backing. A uh, couple little differences there. The, the main reason why they do that, obviously aluminum is gonna be a little more expensive. Aluminum does absorb heat better. So the, the material is more expensive and it absorbs heat better. So it's, a, it's just a better pad at dispersing heat, better material for a backing of the brake pad. So uh, kind of the, the, the premium pad, if you are in dry weather, is gonna be an organic aluminum backed pad. If you wanna go a little bit cheaper, um, you can do organic with a steel backed pad. So uh, I've already said uh, 10 different types of brake pads here and all the different kinds. Hopefully this isn't more confusing than when you started watching the video. But some basics. Organic, like I said, is a, uh, a bit quieter. Um, it's better for drier weather because it doesn't perform as good in wet as a metal center pad would. So if you're riding wet, metal centered. If you're riding dry, organic is good. Um, metal centered works fine in dry as well. They're typically just a little noisier. And there is a lot of different, of, of all the places I've ridden mountain bikes um, around the globe, there is different dust conditions in different areas. And some dust is more fine, you know, just finely ground than others. And it'll make kind of both of them noisy. Or maybe sometimes you might notice one more noisy than the other, which is a huge difference. Uh, a lot of that depends on the rotors too. Um, again, you know, from my experience, I pretty much always run organic with the aluminum back. Um, because I'm riding most of the time in dry weather, whereas a lot of our customers that we've got that are in rainier climates or even just places where there's a lot more water crossings are gonna run a, a metal centered pad. So uh, again, couple links below the video that will kind of lay that out in writing in case you forgot what I said. Um, there is a couple other things to consider too about the bite and how they, their initial bite and then also how quickly they wear out. Uh, organic tends to wear out a little bit faster whereas the metal center does not. They last a little bit longer. Uh, again, a lot of that just depends on the conditions too. If you're riding uh, wet and mud, any brake pad's gonna wear out a lot faster than if you're riding dry, uh, because that mud is almost like sandpaper and just gonna kind of grind the pad down faster. But, uh, so check out the links below, um, you know, for, for just to see that in writing and some advice on and what pads might make sense for you. Um, you know, th there is a, a few choices and each brand kind of calls them different, but uh, you know, either one, if you end up just getting decision paralysis on this one, uh, just buy any of them and probably won't even notice the difference. <laughs>
Thank you guys for watching. Leave us a comment down below. Are you running organic slash resin pads or metal slash centered pads? Uh, we'd love to know sort of what you prefer and what your experiences are. You know, like I said, there's different climates all over the place, so maybe you prefer one over the other. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments and hit that subscribe button to see more cool mountain bike related content just like this. Cheers.